Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and I'm bringing to you a very awesome video that I'm really hoping you guys will like, because in this video I'm going to show you how to dual boot Android 2.2.1, which is Froyo, on your iPhone 2G or 3G. Now it's not compatible with the newer devices yet, but it is a pretty awesome port. So um, in order to do this, there's a couple requirements. One, uh, of course, the 2G or 3G iPhone, and you have to be on a firmware newer than 3.1.2 and pretty much 4.1 or older so 3.1.2, 3.1.3, 4.0, 4.0.1, 4.0.2 .1, and 4.1 and you have to be jailbroken with either Pwnage Tool, Red Snow or Black Rain um, any other jailbreak will, it's not supported so of course you will need a Wi-Fi connection and you will need to be jailbroken using one of those three I will put a link for uh, the iPhone 3G up here and the iPhone 2G down here if you don't have a jailbreak for it. Um, but once Cydia finishes reloading, I'll be right back. Okay, so once it's finished reloading, we're going to be adding a source. So manage, sources, edit, add, and we are adding this source, repo.neonkoala.co slash dot uk and it will look like this and you'll put a forward slash at the end so once you've got that just you're gonna add the source I already have it and you will just click on it and there's only one package in there it's called bootlace and you will install this so install and confirm and so once you've got that it'll of course reboot your device once you're booted back up you should see a boot like this just go ahead and click on it and once it loads um, yours won't load right away. It'll patch the kernel. It will install it and then patch it and it'll take a little bit But mine has already gone through that. So I'm skipping straight to the next part um, Once you're once it's loaded you'll click on iBoot Open iBoot and you will install it so um, Make sure it's not interrupted. You have a good battery while this is installing and go ahead and press continue and It'll take a little bit, but I will be right back once it's finished loading, it's going to look like this. It's going to give you this screen. What we are doing next is going to iDroid, and we're installing this now. And again, it'll take a little bit. I'll be right back as soon as it's done. Okay, so after about 20 minutes, it finished, and it gives me this screen. Now, before we continue to the next step, I want to let you guys know that if you guys have any second doubts about this, um, it's something that you guys don't use or you don't need or you don't even like, there's always a way to remove it. But if you remove it, the bootlace in Cydia first, it can screw up your iPhone. So what you will need to do is first you will need to go to iDroid and press remove here. And then after that's removed, go to open iBoot and remove that. And then delete bootlace from Cydia. So that's just a quick tip on how to remove it. So after it's done loading, um, you should get this screen. You'll go to quick boot and click on the Android icon and yes it will reboot it and now it will boot up in Android I'm going to show you this is the process um, it will take a long time so I will be right back as soon as it's done eventually you will get to this screen so this is that means that everything has gone right uh, it did take me about a minute but this means everything is good it is booting up into Android and I'll be right back as soon as it's done and after it booted up you have Android on your iPhone and this is the Froyo version and what I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna go find someone that uses an Android device and brag to them how my iPhone can run their OS but theirs can't do vice versa but anyways you guys it is a pretty cool feature or thing that you can do with your iPhone um, to mess around with a little bit I would not use this as my primary OS because it, it heats up a lot it's not optimized for battery and a lot of features are missing so you're you're getting less than your you're sacrificing more than you're actually getting in return um, I found mostly everything does work but the camera doesn't work and it overheats now controls to go back to the home home menu button is the power button and the menu button is this button right here and this is the phone button and to turn it off you just tap both of them at the same time and then to turn it back on you just press one of them and to sh I want to show you guys how to run this again after you reboot your device so you just hold them together to turn it off and just press power off and it really doesn't take that long to turn it off so just a second here and what's really cool when you go to power 
power up your iPhone, you have an option to dual boot either iOS or this or even a terminal app. All right, so after it turned off, you just power it up and you get this really cool option where you can either boot Android or a terminal app or your iOS and it's really awesome. And to select it, just press the power or whoops, just press the home button and it boots up. So thanks all you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Please comment, rate and subscribe to my channel.